Hello everyone, this is Saurav and welcome to Orissa Post Live and these are today's top headlines. The much-awaited southwest monsoon set in over Odisha Thursday. Under its impact, several parts of the state received rainfall. Informing about the development, H.R. Biswas, director of the IMD's regional centre in Bhubaneswar, said that the southwest monsoon advanced to most areas of Malkangiri, Koraput and some areas of Gajapati district. The weather conditions are very favourable for the further advancement of the monsoon over Odisha during the next two days. BJP National President J.P. Nadda will be visiting Odisha today. The Union Minister will meet distinguished people as part of his party's Samparks Se Samarthan outreach campaign during his visit. According to sources, he will attend a public rally in Odisha and chair a meeting with senior leaders of Burgad Lok Sabha constituency at the BJP office in Jharsuguda. The Adapa Mandap BJ rituals of Lord Jagannath and his siblings will be held in Puri this evening. A day after Rathayatra, the three sibling deities Lord Jagannath, Lord Balabhadra and Devi Subhadra will enter the Adapa Mandap inside the Sanctum Sanctorium of the Gundicha Temple today. After the Sandhya Dhupa ritual, the deities along with Lord Sudarshan will be escorted to the Adapa Mandap inside the Gundicha Temple in a ceremonial procession. Their devotees can have darshan of the lords. On the allegation of possession of disproportionate assets, the Odisha Vigilance has raided the properties of the ex-district social welcome officer of Bhadrak district. The woman DSWO has been identified as Jayanti Behera. The ex-district social welfare officer Bhadrak posted at the W and C D Department, Government of Odisha, Bhubaneswar. The Odisha Vigilance has conducted simultaneous house searches led by one additional SP, four DSPs, eight inspectors and other staff on the strength of search warrants issued by Special Judge Vigilance. The Bahanaga High School in Balasur district of Odisha will be redeveloped under the 5T initiative of the state government. Chief Minister Navin Patnaik has sanctioned Rs 2.49 crore from the Chief Minister's Relief Fund for the high school redevelopment work, said a senior official today. As per the direction of the Chief Minister, 5T Secretary VK Pandian held discussions with the students of Bahanaga High School, teachers, managing committee members, local representatives and Balasore collector on various issues. In a massive push to Narendra Modi government's Make in India pitch, General Electric's aerospace arm announced today that it has teamed up with a state-owned Hindustan Aeronautical Limited to make fighter jet engines for the Indian Air Force in India. The announcement came hours after Prime Minister Modi's meeting with General Electric Chairman H. Lawrence Kulp Jr. in Washington. Soon after the meeting, the Prime Minister's office tweeted photographs of him with the GE chief. The flood situation in Assam remained grim Thursday morning, with incessant rain across several parts of the state inundating new areas even as nearly 1.2 lakh people were hit due to the deluge in 10 districts. The Indian Meteorological Department has issued an orange alert and predicted very heavy to extremely heavy rainfall across several districts of Assam over the next few days. The Aam Admi Party has threatened to skip tomorrow's pivotal opposition meeting if the Congress does not back its campaign against a contentious central government ordinance that aims to reshape Delhi's administrative services, sources said Thursday. The move risks derailing efforts by India's splintered opposition to come together and strategize for the 2024 Lok Sabha elections. Prime Minister Narendra Modi and US President Joe Biden will announce a mega deal on the purchase of General Atomics MQ-9 Reaper armed drones by India Thursday, the White House has said. The move would further bolster India's national security and surveillance capabilities not only in the Indian Ocean but also along the frontier with China. Pakistan Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif met IMF Managing Director Kristalina Georgieva Thursday as the cash-strapped country made a last-ditch effort to get a much-needed loan from the global lender, a media report said. The two sides exchanged views on the ongoing programs and cooperation between crisis-ridden Pakistan and the International Monetary Fund in the meeting held on the sidelines of the summit for a new global financial pact in Paris, France. Radio Pakistan reported. That's all for today's top headlines. Stay tuned to Orissa Post Live.